the format of being robot. Hello, my name is Gia the Jaguar, and today I'll be reading another Madagascar crappy pasta that is so bad that it makes cupcakes look like a real episode of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. In case if you're wondering, yes, I'm in the Troll Pasta Wiki, hosted by Mira Hayes, and powered by Media Wiki. This one is a lot shittier than the previous story back in September 19th, which was Madagascar deleted scenes from the Jiashi Wiki, not to mention that Jiashi is exposed as a disgusting creep. So without further ado, let's read out this hilariously horrendous story, and circus stick together. I was always loved the Madagascar movies, yet I had never watched the first movie. So I just had to watch the first one at that instant. So, I ordered the Madagascar DVD with the special penguin short, and two days later, it came to my house. Then I saw there was something off about the box it came in. The box it came in was labeled eBay, the word fully capitalized, even though I ordered it from Amazon. Weird. Anyways after that, I simply just got the DVD out of the box, and popped it into the DVD player. Wait, an eBay package from Amazon? Looks like the Amazon executives got the wrong package from another shopping site. I'm very confused, but continuing. Now, after I put it in the DVD player, it started to turn weird again. This was because after the DreamWorks Home Entertainment logo, it popped to this image for half a second. From what I could make out, I saw Alex, the lion, sitting dead on the ground with a bunch of blood. Oh god, not my poor Alex again. Marty was also just standing next to the body. Weird, what's so weird about a crime scene as artwork? Anyways, after that, it cut the DVD menu. There was only three options. Play movie, watch Christmas short, or watch technical reel. Now, I only bought this DVD to watch the movie, but I was kinda interested into what this technical reel is about. So, I clicked that option instead of the movie option. I wish I changed my mind, no shit Sherlock. Now after I clicked on it, it automatically cut to the DreamWorks logo as usual. But the DreamWorks logo was the older one from the 90s, basically it was shown in Ants and the first Shrek movie, and even those 2D animated movies. Not the one that was being used at the time. After this DreamWorks logo, it cut to multiple clips of the skeletons of the main characters. Okay. I wasn't signing up for seeing skeletons, I said. Also, the music until the 15 second mark was just white noise. Then at the 15 second mark, two things would happen. One, the reel would start showing clips of my house getting attacked by Alex the Lion and repeated them over and over. Second, I would start hearing screaming. I was also hearing scraping from outside my house. Wait, a fictional lion can't be attacking my house in real life, right? I said, hopeful that it was fake. Anyways, after about one freaking minute, the scraping would stop on my house, the screaming would stop, and the screen went black. Then after five seconds, it displayed some red text, saying, look behind you. Wait, something can't be behind me. This house is more secure than Buckingham Palace, rest in peace Queen Elizabeth, brah, I said exaggerating. So then, I do decide to look behind myself. I then saw that Alex had got into my house and was about to attack. So the moment I saw him, I immediately ran to my room, which thank god was on the first floor, and very quickly opened up a gun, safe to get my gun. Right after this, I was about to shot Alex, when I realized my gun had no ammo. Fuck! I yelled. Then, Alex pounded on me, and I died. Except I didn't and woke up from that entire experience. Well that was weird. Let's hope the real Madagascar DVD doesn't kill me, I said to myself. So yeah, that was a very weird nightmare. But, I was able to successfully watch the movie from the DVD. I also got to watch the Madagascar technical reel, wrong term, the real one. The real version of it actually taught me about animation. So now I'm looking forward to working at Disney, yay.
bag. A crappy pasta so bad that it make me laugh at the top of my lungs. Or the fact I cringed so hard that it makes littlest horror shop. An old shitty littlest pet shop creepy pasta look like an actual horror movie from Hollywood. Also, what's so scary about a nightmare this protagonist had? Oh hell, I would be joining my Alex for this swell murder fest on this person, and it sure goes like... <laughs> you will never watch any DreamWorks movie in your life. <laughs> then Alex and I claw the fuck out of the protagonist's face and he she lets out a blood curdling scream like a <laughs> circus stick together. <laughs> Mauling the guy like actual animals. <laughs> Here comes the hyperrealistic blood. <laughs> Bag, that was swell. I really, really should do that on the protagonist right now, hoping it wasn't a dream on him, or her. Oh, my last thoughts on this swell story, is literally illogically swell nonsensical piece of bleeding shit. Not to mention the grammar on this story. It contains run-on sentences, it got to the point that there were words repeated. It's just like the previous story, except it's maddening and had the tropes of those shitty lost episode creepypastas, where a fictional character is about to attack and or possess the protagonist in real life, or in a dream. So how can I put this? Oh yeah, my rating on this troll story is a 7.5 out of 10, hoping it'll get more swell again. My name is Gia, the amazing trapeze flying jaguar, that brings you this message. See you later my swell sweeties, and remember, circus stick together. <laughs>